Happy Monday, you lovely lot. It is Monday the 8th of January, and you're joining me and my wife, Trace, on a trip without our kids. So, welcome aboard. Uh, we've got seven nights on Port Orleans, Orleans. <laughs> Riverside. <clears throat> and then we're going to see some friends in Tampa, and then we're coming back, and then we've got four nights at All Stars Music, which we're really excited about because lots of you guys have told us how brilliant it is. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. The time is now, just gone eight o'clock. We had a bit of a panic. Um, we've had a slight tech issue, nothing on anyone's fault, but Trace's phone um, is really old and has spat the dummy slightly. So we were gonna wake up um, early and book a, a virtual queue for Guardians because we're at Epcot today and that's where you can um, Guardians of the Galaxy is a pretty new ride, so um, you need to go onto the app and get in like a vir virtual queue and you have to do it right at a certain time, so 7 o'clock and that will give you a boarding time. Anyway, we missed that because for a brief moment it looked like I was at Epcot today and Tracy was at Hollywood Studios. Now, we, we're not saying that that might, may not happen towards the end of the holiday, <laughs> however at the moment we're getting on pretty good, which is nice. Um, so anyway, we missed that. So we have treated ourselves and bought a lightning lane. And that's where you can just buy a fast pass for this ride. Um, I don't actually like the fact that with things like Guardians, that you can't just go and get in the queue. I think that's a bit, it's a bit mean. However, it is what it is. It used to be like that with Rise of the Resistance at Hollywood Studios. And now you can just get in the queue. You can either buy a fast pass, or if you want to go and get in the line, you can go and get in the line. I just think people, should will, have the choice. It will go that way. It will go that it way. Go Morning. That way. Morning. It will go that way with um, Guardians. It's just not quite there yet. I don't think. Yeah. We'll double check it. We might be wrong. Yeah. We and can't it's get, we can't get into my Disney experience or anything easily to find out at the moment because my phone's not playing. <laughs> um, it is um, early hours. So if you're on, if you're a resort guest, it's early hours at Epcot today. Um, so the park opens at eight o'clock. We are not rushing on this holiday. It is lovely. Um, it's five past eight. So we're gonna mooch on down there. Head over to Epcot on the bus, grab a coffee, and we'll see you there. Yeah, I just mentioned to Tracy, it is a bit fresh this morning. I have got my cardi on. This resort is beautiful though. So it's saying the next bus is in four minutes. That'd be a right result. Right, that was great. As it's early hours this morning, I'm on, we need a build up for this camera. As it's early hours in this park, I'm surprised how quiet this bus is. Yeah, maybe it's going to be a bit earlier on the early buses, but then I think this week's, I'm thinking this week is going to be quieter because we've got over the marathon weekend, it's like all the Christmas, last of the Christmas days maybe, and now we should have a few days where it's not too busy. Nice. Right, all through security, because we carry like glasses and stuff, and I got one of these wallets that, I don't know, doesn't like the security. You have to walk out with it in your hand, so you look like a bit of an idiot, slash zombie. You're always worried they're, they're gonna pull you over to check your bag anyway. And what happened to you? Listen, I was like, panicked, it went me, went, have a nice day. <laughs> Still Christmas here as well too, they're definitely getting their money's worth. Thank you. Straight through, like a pro. So early entry, you have to be a resort guest, so look out for signs for early entry, which I think is up here, and now just make sure that you are eligible. Right, we're all through, that was super easy. Um, so yeah, that's people that have made it through tickets and security, so they'll be allowed in at nine. And then for resort guests, we're all through. So the loose plan is soaring, living with the land, and then Ratatouille. Then Ratatouille, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're hoping that we'll miss the big surge for Ratatouille, but I don't know. Um, so last time when we did early hours, we went to Ratatouille first, and it was just ridiculous weight. So everybody had gone there, so we thought we might just do something else first and make let that first wave die down. Might backfire, it might be when everyone else gets into the park and it bobs up again, but we'll see. Yeah, so we're thinking, soaring, living with the land, maybe a coffee, then Ratatouille, then our Guardians thing, and then we'll, you know, see how we get on. I think Epcot's my favourite park. It's, yeah, it's definitely my favourite park. Yeah, I love how sort of 
70s and retro it feels. Don't know. I, I love the sounds. I love the smells. And what I love about Disney is how it sort of takes you back to like memories and stuff and yeah, Epcot does it for me. It's nice and warm in here. Heading on to Soaring. 10 minutes standby. Yeah, 10 minutes. I think this is going to be a Christopher. <laughs> minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. You can build fast and left and right, and then just go on the baskets under your seats, living with the land now as you might expect with early hours it's another Christopher five minute standby shortest line ever Pardon? shortest line ever yeah, never yes. ever ever yeah, been on a ride that was literally we just had Christopher we literally didn't stop walking we just walked and then we got here the gates open and we walked on so definitely walked on. Tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. But that saves water and increases production. Working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. That was my favorite ride ever on Living With The Land. Christmas overlay was awesome, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to still be there, so it's still there for a few more days. We've been tonight, we might come back and do it in the dark, because it would be amazing in the dark. Yeah, definitely want to do it in the dark. Check this out, actually. Right, you find us now in World Showcase. <clears throat> and this is the first time we've been here when there hasn't been a festival on. So the Festival of Arts starts. When does it start, Trace? Friday the 12th and yeah so I think they're getting all the stalls ready but this is the first time we've been here it's too early for them to be open ordinarily anyway but this is the first time we've been here without a festival Christmas decorations do look fab though they are, great. They are pushing their luck we did ask um, how long the Christmas stuff's gonna be up for because we would like to come back and do this is how sad we are living with the land with the Christmas overlay looks so Christmassy we want to see it at night and because like the main dome bit is less lighting we just think it'd look really nice with all the lights yeah we want to see it with all the Christmas lights in the dark but the cast members didn't seem to know when it's happening no I mean we did hear yesterday a lot of the Christmas stuff they kept up um, for the marathon weekend and then from the marathon weekend onwards they're going to be starting to take them down so considering today's the first day any day from now onwards they could start to take some of them down gradually or just do it all overnight <laughs> in the Disney way so. but we really want to see living with the land and with the it's so many lights up in there later in the dark <laughs> <laughs> all right we've just gone through the England pavilion Alice in Wonderland's out, nice big coat. I'm gonna need a big coat, it's still a bit chilly. Definitely need for that sun to poke its head through. Heading into the Ratatouille area, which is just stunning. And the Skyliners are out. Okay, so we made it all the way over to France. Got into Ratatouille, it's down. Well, it was teasing us because it didn't come up on the wait list. Then it came up with a 60 minute wait, we thought maybe. And then when we got there, it was down again, so we decided to go and get coffee again now. Yeah. 
We took a detour. <laughs> we took we a detour. Get, we couldn't get to the coffee place. We ended up coming this direction. So we thought, oh, we'll do Ratatouille. And now we can't. We're going to go back for coffee. And with our annual passes, uh, one of them has, uh, we went for the photo pass. So, Tracy likes having our pictures taken. <laughs> I don't actually. You do, you like it when... Uh, I love a photo she, pass picture. As we go past, she, she's just like, can you, can you do one where we kiss? <laughs> I'm ready for my first one. <laughs> right, we're going to walk through Creations, which I think is one of my favourite shops in all of Disney World. And what happens every time I go through there, I see something that I really, really like. Sometimes I even try it on. And if it looks good, I go like, right, I might get that. I'm going to get, I'm definitely going to get that. And then what happens? She doesn't get it. Never get it. <laughs> and it's cold, and I could do it with the jumper, but, you know. I do like these actually. They're cool, aren't they? Cool. I know, they're soft and fluffy. Mm. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very Disney. <laughs> what? It's my scratching finger. <laughs> there we go. It's on offer if you want to go and offend your friends. You're already justifying purchases for this holiday, aren't you? It's chilly. <laughs> I don't like how it feels, it feels yeah. dusty. Yeah, I don't like the feel of that. Oh, these are nice hats though. The queue for Starbucks is bigger than the queue for Ratatouille. What are they making? Donna kebabs. <laughs> See these pastries in the cabinet? See the, like, the display ones? Do you think they are like, real oh, um. yeah do you reckon these are like made every day or or right a made every day b fake like made out of plastic plastic or c they just like wait until they go off or final answer d they don't go off they've got <laughs> they got so much gear in them that they just um, I think they are. I think they keep them in there until they look like they need to place them. Until they grow legs and wander off on their own. Because <laughs> there was that guy that they reckon like a McDonald's cheeseburger lasts for decades and doesn't go off. Yeah, what was that? I don't know, someone yeah. kept one in their room for a while. I asked the lovely Maddie. They're made daily and they're real. Yeah, the stuff in the cabinet is, is made daily, swapped in every morning fresh. Yeah. So there we know. There we know. I like my answer. I like my... <laughs> I thought mine was your better. Your version of events was, was more entertaining. If, if I worked for Starbucks, I would have made something up. <laughs> <laughs> right, today, on uh, what my Starbucks name is, I went for Nigel, but I had a panic. First of all, I forgot I was going to do it, and then think, <gasps> she goes, what's it? Spell it. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and then I... And then I... And then I... It was a slight hesitation, I he's forgotten. <laughs> and then I started laughing. <laughs> But the highlight, the highlight of my morning was someone ordered, um, that oh. put their order in, and her name was Anita. But uh, it, when the lady said it, it sounded like Anita, and she had ordered hot chocolate, and she was like, "Anita, hot chocolate." And I went to Tracy, "I need a hot chocolate too." <laughs> oh, that's good as well. Is it? Hey. They're nailing it. So I, I have a regular filter coffee uh, in the mornings with heavy cream. Tracy's gone for a vanilla latte. We've gone for a cinnamon bun as well. But yeah, that's they've nailed that. If you need any um, evidence that we're being listened to, I was just going through my Facebook. And there's that really old cheeseburger that I was talking about. How mad is that? So every time we come to Epcot, more and more of like the sort of hoardings are coming down and revealing these areas. So this is another area that's been Uncovered, nice seating area. One day it'll be finished. <laughs> <laughs> it'll never be finished according to all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair one. And look, you've got these nice sort of loungy chairs here. Yeah, this whole area has sort of, all sort of been uncovered. It's really cool. World Celebration Gardens, also the sign there says World Nature. So I think it's just a nice area for people to sit and contemplate. That's, I think that's what I'm going to spend today. I'm, I'm going to sit and contemplate. contemplate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, really, this is really, really lovely. The music's getting me as well. There's a statue of Walt up there. We're going to get a photo pass. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I think it's going to look nice with the lights around there. Yeah, it's just really, really... I think I took the pee out of you a little bit when you said to come and contemplate, but it's like, it's the, the music's lovely, you know, I like this sort of 
industrial sort of patina bits and li listen to me talking about patina. Oh, Daisy's giving out hugs. I might go. Oh. <laughs> so now that they've um, taken all the hoardings down and created what is, can only be described as a really, really, really lovely area, we've lost our bearings. Don't know no where idea. we are. We're lost. Oh, you just followed the script. And just like, <laughs> keep that on your left and you knew where you were. Now, no idea. We're yeah. just going to try and find um, the Moana journey of water. Yeah. I think we just head in this general direction, we'll come across it. General direction. Um, they have, they've totally nailed this area, and especially with the music as well. It's like, it's wonderful. It's coming out at 11 o'clock on a Monday, 40 minutes for Nemo. That's pretty high. That's pretty high. <laughs> right, heading in. It's busy. I think one of the things that I really love about this area is kids won't want to leave it. Like yeah. kids, when you hit them on that like that certain age where yeah. they're just going, yeah, they're like, leave me here, come back later. Yeah, it's lovely, and the music's brilliant as well. Do that again. Do it again. <laughs> wow. Too much power. You stand on there. Then you hold your hand out. Brilliant. <laughs> the little boy just before walked through blew his mind. So it's raining. Then it stopped. Everyone's smiling. Yeah. Everyone's got massive smiles on. This is really what's not like. I mean, it may not be the most exciting attraction, but for a ride. You, like you that, tell those toddlers back there, they were living their best life. The kids are loving all the interactive elements of it, and it's the music's lovely, it's nice to walk through. These kids are just jumping on the things, there's water squirting everywhere, it's too much. Right, we checked on the app, Nemo's dropped down to 20. So we're heading on. Thank you. Is he orange with white stripes and looks kind of like you only smaller? Yes, have you seen him? Hi, I'm Lori. ride on Nemo. I think if you're coming here for the first time that is definitely a must do, especially if you've got little ones even though it kept breaking down a bit. Yeah, it was a little bit, a few technical issues today but still great. Yeah. So that was basically like a 10 minute video about the environment. We hadn't done that in like a long time. It used to be like Lion King thing, didn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was um, too much of number, I think, doing some sort of conservation infomercial. And now it's a more, sorry, I'm sorry, really. It's just, just a nice little nature film, really, with Ty Burrell doing the uh, narration. And uh, yeah, just the message about the melt of the planet. That's so quite nice, but. If you want to sit down. You want to sit down with the rest. It was comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, you might doze off. Yeah. But yeah, it's alright. <laughs> right, heading on. How are you feeling, Trace? Hello? How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. 
I want to get a different song. I was just going to say, what song choice do you want? Well, we've had, when I've done it, I've had September, Disco Inferno, and um, Iran. Yeah. Or oh, might any of those again. Yeah. I wouldn't be nice to have something different. So, I don't mind. I always like Iran. So I really like that song. We're about to find out. I don't think I've lightning lane this before, so we might end up skipping some of the queue. Right, so we skipped that whole bit there, so yeah, it's like a totally different entrance. I guess, I mean, it was really a group. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. Mega. We had everybody wants to rule the world, and we sat at the back. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I love that. Yeah, it feels less intense at the back, smoother. Yeah, yeah it's smoother. It's a few tummy flick moments, but I actually found them really enjoyable at the back this time. So, yeah, yeah, I really loved it. Yeah, I loved it. And do some pin trading. <laughs> <laughs> These are all rolling pins. I don't know why they're there though, but I really want to roll something out with that pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. There's some good sweeping up. <laughs> right, we're going for Mexican. I think we're going in on nachos. Right, the Mexico quick serve was uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> so um, we've parked ourselves opposite the uh, the Mexican pavilion. We got some loaded nachos. They we added guacamole, but. Including tax, they were seventeen dollars, but that's going to do us both. Ten out of ten. I was really hungry, but there's plenty for two of us, and I, I ended up quite liking our little wall. It's been quite a nice place to sit, actually. Yeah. Sit down, rather. But, um, yeah, it was a bit messy to eat, but really nice. Yeah, really, really good. So we're heading into Norway, and they've got like grass on the roof up there. It's a cool area, this. I've had these before. I remember them being delicious and messy. Yes. Is this all for me? Are you going to have any? I might have a bite. I'm, really not... I'm still full of nachos. <laughs> still, full of, still full of nachos. Um, so it's got like custody stuff and coconut and it's stuffed as well. I'm going in. It's kind of soft. It must be. <laughs> it's so good. Kind of like lemony and coconutty and soft and sweet and I'm all proud of it. So good. And as you go further in it gets more custardy. Custardy makes that. It's good isn't it? I think it's one of my favourite things. Yeah. That was terrible. As you can see. <laughs> you yeah. didn't like that. I didn't like that. I think you had more than you thought you were gonna have. I had a couple of bites more than I thought I was gonna have. It's nice it's right? Messy. It's really messy but that custard is just so smooth and really stuff. Yeah. Like right, going in the shop. So you got all these ornamental tankards. <laughs> They're really cool. <laughs> like, it, yeah. I've not seen anything like that. And as you might expect, as it's Norway, there's a lot of frozen gear. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Well, they are heavy. We're going to go and have a mooch in the China Pavilion. It's a lucky pet. Uh, pet socks. <laughs> we got some sense. Can you imagine trying to put these on the cats? Squid flavoured crisps. <laughs> yeah, we got some roasted fish flavoured crisps. I might pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading into the Germany area. Oh, someone's making cookies. Oh, smells great in here. They got 
loads of different flavoured um, Werther's. What is it? It's by the Werther's original flavoured caramel. We don't need to go down that road. Oh, what's this? It's amazing. Just dip. It is. You dip apples in it. No, can't get that. So this is a Christmas shop. We've got a Christmas pickle. We got it from here, didn't we? I kind of wish we got one with a Christmas hat on it, though. Got a massive collection of Stein glasses in here. Really cool. <laughs> oh, this is nice. America, America, the red and white and blue. Heading into the American adventure. I've never done this, got no idea what it is, but thought, why not? Oh, this looks pretty, pretty cool. This is an impressive building. Yeah. Right, we're now in another room. <laughs> it, it was really effective, but it could have been so much better. The audio was off, you couldn't really follow it. Basically, it was like a bit of... It was sort of like a potted history of America, but they just fast-forwarded the bits that they couldn't... It wasn't my favourite. Yeah, I think it was difficult to fully appreciate all the history anyway, but it would have been easier if, if say, the audio had been on, we could have followed it a bit more easily. And some of the effects with the, like, the transitions of like some of the screen behind and moving things in front was good. I was expecting more of a, a live action for the show rather than... It was robots. Animatronics. <laughs> amateur dramatics. <laughs> These amateur robots turned up. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it could, could have been... There's potential to do that really well. <laughs> wasn't a favourite, was it? Right. <laughs> it was a nice sit down. <laughs> that lovely Christmas tree. We're going to go and get our culture on. Have a look at some art. <laughs> oh, I like that one. I like that one. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. I like that one. And I like the Mickey Mouse one. It's really lovely up here. I've never been up this bit before. So there's a quick serve there, so you can literally get your food. And there's all these lovely little seating areas. Imagine that it's really nice at night with that all lit up as well. So cool! was three little short cartoons. They were great, weren't they? they were great, yeah. We've seen five before, which I love, but the other two were really good as well. I love the little the one at the end, Feast. Yeah. Dog. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was really, really cool. We've had a half an hour sit down and a coffee and a bit of a recharge. Getting a bit of spray over there. I thought it was raining for a minute, but it's that blooming old squirty thing. Bounty, and that's what they're called. Um, and the reason we've hung around is we wanted to see uh, living with uh, living with the land 
um, in the dark just to see the Christmas overlay. But we also want to go and see uh, the Moana attraction in the dark as well because we think that's going to light up. So um, I'm being pointed and prodded and steered in one way, so we're going to go and check it out. Take two. <laughs> Take two. Looks kind of cool already. So cool. <laughs> yeah, Tracy just said, if it's, you think it's good in day? It's brilliant at night. There's a bit at the end where, so these like sensors that you stand on, it tells everybody as a group to raise their arms up and then as you're doing that, the music's sort of building and you're all working at one and it's like, it's a bit of a moment. It's, it's, I love it. living with the land so many times first off never ridden it twice in one day but never ridden it with like christmas lights that was amazing it was wasn't it so much effort not just a little bit of light and effort for christmas that was full on yeah, yeah. absolutely absolutely amazing um it's coming up for about quarter to seven we've been on the park a while that's quite a big day for us We've done loads of cool stuff actually, so it's been really nice. Yeah, and um, so now we're going to get the bus back to uh, the resort and then go straight to dinner. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're in. Lovely server. Yeah. And bread and Mickey butter to start. So the cornbread is great, it's nice and warm. It's a bit like cake. The butter's great, but it's lovely. Tracy's gone for the blackened salmon. It's amazing. It does look great. And I have gone for the shrimp and grits, and it smells incredible. It's so lovely here. It's so nice. Yeah. I can't believe it's taken this long to come here. It's pretty cold. Like, I feel the cold, but it's pretty cold. Kids in the pool. Love it. Right, we are back in the room and still cold outside. More dads going in with the kids. Fair play dads, so I wouldn't be doing that in the pool that is. It's, it is a bit chilly out there. And we've got some weather coming in tomorrow as well. So um, kite flying weather. Um, it's 8.15 it's and we're shattered. That's a big day by our standards. Um, yeah, that was that was a biggie. Um, but what a wonderful day. We've done so much stuff, um, stuff that we never normally do. Uh, Tracy, you said your highlights. You had three highlights. Yeah, I had three real big highlights of this day. Um, 
the Christmas overlay on Living With The Land was the, was the highlight for yeah. me. It was brilliant. It's so unusual for us to be able to see that. Um, I love the Moana um, journey of water by night with all the lights. And we rode Guardians with a different song and at the back. And it was the best ride we've had on Guardians, I think. Yeah, it was nice having um, Everybody Wants To Rule The World. Yes. That was cool. Yeah. Um, how was your meal? My meal was lovely. I had the blackened uh, salmon and it was brilliant. I loved it. It's a little bit on the salty side. Um, the seasoning's quite salty, so just be aware of that if you, you're a bit you know, like, you know, sensitive to salt. But um, I really enjoyed mine. It was really tasty. Yeah, as a, as a family, um, we share food so that we pass forks around. And Tracy and I have got a very similar palate. Tracy's dinner was horrible, I thought. I mean... <laughs> it wasn't she... horrible, you just didn't like it. I mean, no. I thought it was horrible. It's like you thought it was horrible. Yeah, but we, which is weird because we like similar food. I ate it and I was just like, oh my God, that is bad. Like, you won't be able to eat that. But she loved it. I mean, probably loved it, but it was horrible. Like, I wouldn't have been able to finish that. It was so salty. Um, I had shrimp and grits and it had like a Cajun sausage in it. 10 out of 10. I mean, I'm a, I'm a shrimp and grits guy. I've, I've had shrimp and grits at the, is it Coral Reef? Sorry. Um, at Epcot and loved it there but that was awesome and just as awesome as the food well my food Trace I'm not going to compare our server to Tracy's meal because uh, our server was awesome as well Gina was absolutely awesome on your um is it on the app you can do a yeah. cast compliment yeah. yeah so on your uh Disney plus Disney genie what's it called my Disney experience my Disney genie experience <laughs> you can um you can if someone's gone over and above, you can go and give them a cast compliment. Because they do. They did have something else that I was looking at on the menu, and it was like, um, it was an all-you-can-eat, like, sampler. So it had chicken, ribs, brisket, and but I didn't want anything massive. And I said, how massive is that? She goes, it's really, really big. And she's also gone, it's not the best. And I, and I had my eye on the shrimp and grits, and I said, you know, what do you recommend? She goes, the shrimp and grits is amazing. And it was absolutely 10 out of 10 amazing. She uh, also recommended the black and chicken, black and salmon. <laughs> scrap that, she doesn't know what she's chatting about because that was horror. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to eat that. Um, right, so we are like, we didn't have any, boo uh, Tracy didn't have any booze, <laughs> we just had waters. Um, not for any other reason that, you know, we didn't fancy it. So our bill was pretty, was pretty light, specs on Kifo. So, we get an annual pass discount as well, which was $5.40 off. So in total, it was fifty one seventy six, and I left a good tip on there as well, because she was awesome. So that was, um, you know, really, really good value. And yeah, so that was boat rights at Port Orleans Riverside. Absolutely top job, loved it. We've had a mega day. Bumped into some of you and lovely lot as well. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, had a lovely chat with some of you lovely people and yeah, just did lots of cool stuff. Anyway, it's 20 past eight, we're getting into bed. <laughs> I'm knackered. Um, tomorrow we are heading over to Hollywood Studios. There's some weather coming in, so we're not sure how that's gonna pan out. So we're gonna go over there in the morning and do, 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 probably Disney Springs. Not been there yet, this trip. Um, thank you so much for following along with us. It's lovely getting all your messages and like, yeah, because there's wind coming in. We've had a few messages going, um, be careful. So we will be careful, uh, which brings me on to stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, is.